Lesson 11 for March 6 to 12, Waging Love, read by Percy Harold. Wednesday, March 10, Fast Fight. Ten days after trumpet blasts have reminded God's people that the Lord is acclaimed as their King on the very Day of Atonement when their humility through self-denial is to affirm their loyalty to Him as King, the prophet lifts up his voice like a trumpet to declare that they are rebelling against him in Isaiah 58 verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like a trumpet, tell my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Question, read through Isaiah 58, 6 to 12. What are acts that God considers true acts of self-denial? After all, What's harder, to skip a few meals or to use your own time and money to feed the homeless in your town? What is the principle to be seen behind these acts? How do these acts comprise true religion? Isaiah 58, 6-12 Is this not the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out? When you see the naked, that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh? Then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rearguard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away the yoke from your midst, the pointing of the finger and speaking wickedness, if you extend your soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then your light shall dawn in the darkness, and your darkness shall be as the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually, and satisfy your soul in drought, and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Those from among you shall build the old waste places. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations, and you shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets to dwell in. Anyone can be religious. Anyone can go through religious rituals, even the right rituals, at the right time, with all the right formulas. But that alone is not what the Lord wants. Look at the life of Jesus. However faithful he was to the religious rituals of his time, the Gospel writers focus so much more on his acts of mercy, healing, feeding and forgiveness to those in need than on his faithfulness to ritual. The Lord seeks a church, a people, who will preach truth to the world. But what will better attract people to the truth as it is in Jesus? Strict adherence to dietary laws, or a willingness to help the hungry. Strict rest on the Sabbath, or a willingness to spend your time and energy helping those who are in need. Question. Read Matthew 25, verse 40, and James 1, 27. What do they tell us? Matthew 25, verse 40, And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. And James 1, 27, Pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this, to visit the orphans and widows in their trouble, and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. And so to finish today, look at the blessings in Isaiah 58 that God says will come to those who seek to minister to the less fortunate. What do you think the Lord is saying to us here? Are these promises of supernatural intervention in our lives if we do these things? Or perhaps, is he telling us of the natural blessing we receive by giving of ourselves to others as opposed to being selfish, greedy and self-absorbed? Explain your answer. Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you.
This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.